Okay, here we go. Uh, we're going to work on setting up the FK, or excuse me, the IK, the arm. This would be our FK controls. And one last thing that I haven't done yet that I failed to do is need to describe the uh, these controls as being FK controls. If you notice the names that I have over here, it's just left clavicle, left clavicle control. Now when I go to set up the FK, I'm obviously going to have another left clavicle control. So or the IK rather, sorry. Um, so what I want to do is go ahead into the modify and uh, I'm going to search and replace names. So everything that I have, um, I have an underscore control here and I'm going to replace it with FK control in the hierarchy and hit OK. And now we have left clavicle FK control. Uh, I'm also going to put these onto the FK layer because right now they are not. And so I'm going to add the selected objects and we should be all set uh, to work on the IK joints. And so basically in a nutshell, I'm going to create a control for the clavicle, the shoulder. Uh, we'll create a, a vector uh, pole constraint on an IK chain that's going to go from the shoulder to the wrist. And a nice... Uh, control for the wrist or a nice easy control for the wrist uh, like I said so I'm going to start out with a creative uh, um, basic cube shape here for the clavicle and I'll rename that right away and I realize um, this is going to need an IK descriptive uh, node here or name as well but I'm going to go ahead and do that later. So, uh, looks like I still have a left clavicle control. FK, so apparently I didn't name these first two somehow. Uh, I must not have had that selected when I went to rename the hierarchy. Oh, I yeah, I selected the control node. So, anyway, uh, you know that one at the end of this is a, is a an indicator that Maya already has a name in the file for that. So anytime you see that one, uh, you need to make sure you're, well, you've double named something. So, uh, okay, so I'll take a quick look and make sure, yeah, all these are FK, the rest of these. Um, so now I'm going to get rid of that one. Okay, left clavicle. Obviously, if I put IK here, um, you know, it would probably be good idea however I'm gonna just do all that at the end so anyway alright left clavicle offset control I'm gonna parent it up to the clavicle bone here I've got a handy um, parent number here zero these out and unparent so I've got this position to where I want I'm gonna go into the component mode and it's gonna make a tiny little indicator here of uh, just that I have a control for the clavicle and I want to be able to see it when I'm in the front view and stuff so alright I'm gonna go with that and there we go so and all what I'm gonna do is more than like I'm gonna uh, I'll, I'll parent constrain this because when I have the clavicle I want to be able to well I probably just want to rotate that so I'm just going to do, I'm going to change mine, I'm going to make sure I got the the selected right, and I'm going to constrain orient these, I'm going to double check, make sure I'm in all of them, and apply. Okay, and I will lock and hide the rest of these. I was trying to decide if I want a parent constraint so I can move this, but the clavicle doesn't move from that bone. It will rotate the shoulder around, and we can move the shoulder up and down. So I'll go ahead and put a uh, point constraint on the shoulder so we can actually move it so we could like shrug the shoulders and stuff like that but as far as clavicle control con uh, is concerned we're just going to rotate it like this so uh, and possibly forwards like that so okay first control and I'll go ahead and do another creative cube for the shoulder and I'll rename this and copy this in. Okay, and offset node. 
and uh, I'm going to parent, zero this out, unparent, and I'm going to shape this guy a little differently here. Let's see, I'm going to do something like this. And I'm going to rotate it around so I get a nice cube kind of like that. And out. Out here. Just so I can select it. Just in case I want to select it from below or from the sides or however we want. Um, yeah, I don't want to skew it, I guess. Uh, so this is probably... Fine, I guess I could go into here. Oops. Nah, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna worry about it. Um Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do for the shoulder. And I'm gonna set up the IK here first and then I'll go through and um constrain all these. So I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, a little bit, maybe a little bit different. Um, so I'm going to open up the IK and make sure I'm in the IKRP solver rather than the SC. So you want RP for rotate plane. Didn't mean to do that, sorry. And we will select the shoulder and then the wrist. Alright, so we got our IK set up. And I'm going to go ahead and create now. I'm going to create a control for the wrist. Another super creative cube. We'll call this left wrist control. And move this up. I realize I'm moving through some of these a little bit faster than usual, but uh, by this point you should understand the uh, parenting, all the offset. Oh, don't want to get the uh, want the left wrist control offset and then the wrist joint. Okay? Uh, we're going to parent, zero these out, and unparent, and component mode, oh, something like this, like this, oh, um, that's probably good, I'm trying to stay away from being too picky just to uh, kind of time sense. So you can make something really cool and tricky here. I've seen some hands, uh, people model hands with a curve, uh, which is cool for when you want to, when we add these custom attributes to the hand, you can actually select the finger of the hand or whatever. So that's always pretty, pretty neat. But um, okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take the IK and I'm going to parent, parent it, not constrain, but I'm going to parent it. So child and then parent. Um, select the child and select the parent and I'm going to hit parent so when I select the control now I can move around the entire IK and the hand and everything and our setup now is going to look like this so I've parented the IK handle under the wrist control so anytime I select the wrist control um, okay, so I just wanted to show the hierarchy, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to constrain the wrist uh, to the control, and I'm just going to use an orient constraint. So I'm going to driver, then driven with the wrist joint, and I'm going to constrain orient. I have a habit of just going to the options, so apply. Okay, and so now when I select this guy, uh, I should be able to rotate the wrist, and now what I'm going to do is uh, driver then driven with the shoulder. I'm going to put a point constraint on the shoulder of these. Apply. Um, I'm going to. I'm just going to hide selected here, so. Because I don't want to lock off any of the rotations. Um, again, with this one, I am going. I'm just going to hide these for now. Don't want to lock off any of the orientations. So the reason I gave this a point constraint is because I already have the wrist control set up with an IK. So I don't need to do any rotations 
through this necessarily because I can move my wrist around or my whole arm around through the IK. But however, I might want to give a shoulder shrug or something like this nature um, at some point in time. So we're going to point constrain that. And I oriented constrained the wrist because it's already, I'm already able to move the whole wrist and hand again through the IKA chain. So, check the time. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set up now for our pull vector so we can get some twist and uh, control over the elbow. I'm going to use a comet tool. I'm going to use this uh, arrow shape. And with that one, I have to go in and double group that. And I'm going to call this um, left elbow uh, pole, oh, pole constraint, pole control, CTRL. Okay, and get this name here. Well, I don't know if just Maya doesn't like working with the uh, recording software I'm using or what, but having some pausing issues for sure. Looks like we're recording now. Uh, well, I rename this. Okay, so the offset node. Now we're going to do something completely different. Uh, um, I guess I should. Well, we don't want to group this over here and parent it, and 